Hello everyone, welcome back to the Swift Academy. In today's video, we are trying to discuss about how to pass data from each cell to the view controller itself. For example, uh, you can see on my simulator that we have a lot of the cells that has two buttons inside it. By clicking on each button, it will be bringing up a new view controller a view controller because we click on the A and we have the index 0 because it was the 0. It means that we pass all the data between the cell to the main view controller and the main view controller is going to represent the exact thing or exact data that passed to the view controller itself. All these things happen by the protocol and delegation pattern that we are going to discuss about how you can create a protocol and delegate safely without having any return cycle. Because if you create a return cycle inside your application, it's going to be consuming a lot of memory. So bear with me in this project. Until the end of it, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of the protocol and delegations between the cells and also how to pass data between the main view controller to the next view controller as the A and B. As usual, we are going to create our application from scratch. Uh, okay, open your Xcode, create new Xcode project, and I'm going to select iOS application, going to call uh, the name of this project as uh, send data cell, and then hit next and I'm just create this project on the desktop. So let me expand a little bit so you can see all the Xcode window here. Okay, that's great. So uh, we have all the uh, files that are necessary for creating. We are going to create this project based on the storyboard if you are willing to delete the scene delegate and the storyboard and start the developing your application based on the your zip files or based on the designing the uis by codes uh, i highly recommend that you watch the first series of the mvvm pattern uh, in, inside my playlist so you can find out how to delete the scene delegate and the main dot storyboard in that case and then start the project but uh, for the simplicity we are just going to roof the uh, using the storyboard and creating our uh, project based on that so we have the main storyboard here and one view controller that already assigned to that storyboard first of all we need to have a table view here so table view I'm going to make some constraints around our table view here. So zero, 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 zero. Add four constraints, bring up the assistance editor and connect the table view here, table view. For the clean coding, I just usually put the IB outlets here to make it section by section. So we know that this area belongs to the IB outlets that we are going to connect it to our zip file or a storyboard. So now I'm going to create an extension for all the table view data that we are going to put it here. So extension and from the our view controller and we should actually call the UI table view data source and delegate. So UI table view delegate and UI table view data source. And if you wait a second, it will be uh, warning you that you have to uh, conform to the protocol of the data source. When we click on the fix, usually we have two rows but not for now okay it needs a cell for row out and also the number of each row in section uh, let me just convert the order reverse it number of rows in section i'm just going to return for example 10 here and for the cell for row out i'm just going to use the default cell let's cell equal to table view 
dot dq reusable cell with identifier for and the identifier should be in a string put as cell here index path and also at the end we are going to return the cell and i'm just going to pass the text label the text equal to uh, the index path dot row as a string here just convert it what else we need here we need to create uh, the setup function for our table view function setups uh, table view the things that will be inside this function just related to setting up our table view related to uh, the minimum height or uh, assigning the delegates of the table view for example self dot table view dot delegate it should be self it means that all the data you, you wanna find here in this class table view dot data source you can find it inside this class and also one more thing we just sticking a reusable cell but we didn't register that so we need another function self dot um, register cells and this function responsible for creating the uh, registration for each cells or footer or header for uh, our table view i'm going to create that function register cells function here and table view dot register because now we are going to use uh, the default mode i'm going to just passing the class itself ui table view cell dot self as a type and the identifier as you can see here it is just an, a string of the cell i'm going to pass it and we just call it here okay the table view is ready to go one more thing that uh, remain here the we have to reload our table view in our main tree so i usually create a function called uh, reload table view and put it inside our main thread dispatch key that main that async that self dot table view dot reload data it means that you have to reload your table view always inside the main thread uh, so wherever you call this function reload table view it's going to run inside the main thread and uh, reloading your table view so what else remain inside our view controller inside our view did load you are going to have a config view function while i'm coding even if it is something simple i'm trying to show you that how you can use the clean coding and the clean responsibility for each function and class so inside the view editor we just call the config view what will be happen here all the things related to uh, configuration for the view controller like the background image like the title or uh, defining or labeling things will be happening here for example self the title the title of the page gonna be uh, for example main main view and also the self dot view that background color i'm going to use as the system background color because uh, i'm going to support the light mode and the night mode together and what else remain we have to set up our table view self dot set up our table view it means that it's going to setting up our table view with all the things inside it and then uh, we just simply needs to reload our table view self dot reload our table view but uh, because we are in the did load section i usually trying to reload our table view while we are creating such a this sample application inside the did app here because uh, it means that for example you are getting some data from the server it, it takes a time you're getting some data out from the uh, database it takes time so self reload table view will be inside the did app here but it's up to you depends on what the life cycle of your application is let me uh, build the app okay as you can see we have all the 
rows and the cells here now as a default cell now we have to create our own uh, cell to show those two buttons inside it so i'm going to create a group here and just call it as the uh, cell and inside that i'm going to create a new font cocoa touch class and i will call it the button cell and it should be from the ui table view cell and also i need the creating uh, and also i need the zip file so i'm asking the xcode to create it for me so put it inside the cell and here you go and just get rid of this boiler parade code now uh, i have the uh, base cell here usually i'm going to set up the identifier and the register function inside the cell it's so important so easy because then later on you are not going to mess up with the uh, identifier a string because it is just an a string and uh, maybe you are going to miss some letters there the best way is to put all the identifier and, and registration function inside the cell so uh, i'm going to have a public a static var as identifier and it should just be a read only so we just have to get here and in return i'm going to just pass the button cell table view cell here and it should be a string yeah good to go and also we need another function here public static function as i told you it should be register and for the registering the cell we have to pass a ui nib here ui nib and in the return we have to register ourselves here with the nib name the nib name is the same as our file name so we are just going to use that and the bundle because we are on the same bundle just passing the need uh, don't forget to put this identifier inside your cell view so open it and inside the identifier section as the reusable and then identifier just paste it and hit the intro okay now we have the cell view here so what we need for our view i'm just going to make it as simple because i don't want to make this video so long simple just like as that we have two button here now and the center the stack view is now center so bring up the assistant editor I'm going to open some space for the IB outlets here, IB outlets, and assign it. Okay, we have the button A. So that's it for the design and connecting the IB outlets for the cell. Now we can come back to our cell here now. So when the buttons going to be clicked we need to pass data to our main view controller here but how we are going to do that this is the reason that we are creating this application so we are going to create our protocol here protocol uh, and i'm going to use the same name here button cell table view cell this table view cell if i that okay this cell is just a table view cell, not a collection view cell and then uh, I, we have to inherit it from uh, the class or recently uh, actually Apple suggested to inherit it from the any object the reason is that later on we are going to make a reference to this protocol based on the weak uh, actually referencing and uh, weak if you going to look at the arc mechanism how they are going to clean the memory how they are going to break the connection between two classes that i'm going to create a video about how the weak lazy or other uh, references going to work for you but you have to um, inherit your protocol from the any object to be able to uh, reference to that protocol as the weak variable so 
uh, we create our protocol now we need to add uh, our functions here that later on we are going to call them and uh, we have two buttons for this sample actually you can actually pass so many things inside that but now i'm going to just pass these two buttons here function uh, button a clicked and i'm going to pass some sample data here now for example as the integer and also function button b clicked again i'm going to pass some sample data as an integer it means that for example you have your cell you created a cell it has a lot of buttons inside it and when the user click on one of those you want to pass some data to the main view controller and handle it so you can create as uh, much as buttons or actually functions here in your cell or even you can create the model to pass to the view controller for example a strike related to what's happening it, it is completely depend on you the main thing that you're focusing on that uh, on this video is just to passing data with the protocol just to showing you okay uh, we need to create a variable as a delegate inside your table view cell here so variables will be just remember i told you we have to create a weak variable weak var we call it delegate it means that this delegates belong to this cell and it should be the same as this protocol but we forgot to put the naming uh, delegate at the end of our protocol here so remember that you have to uh, name the delegate at the end of it otherwise it's going to be yielding at you so button click button cell table view cell delegate and the variable that you just defined here is gonna be optional and it is belongs to that protocol so now you create a reference to this protocol and you have the weak var delegate here then later on you can assign this delegation to the view controller so now that we have this data we need to have something else let me add something like the index as the integer because we want to pass it to um, our table view each cell as the index path of the row so we can actually pass and use it as a data to pass the font in, inside that function now we can just simply inside our actions call the self dot delegate dot we have two functions that we just created button a click we are on the button a click the data i'm just going to pass that index that i told you and for the button b the same so self dot delegate dot button b click and index the reason that we create the delegate here as an optional here you see that if somehow we forgot to um, initialize our delegate inside the cell for row out in the view controller it's not going to crash our application so this is all the things that you need for uh, the cell that should be conforming uh, a delegation pattern here with the protocol of the clicking from that cell or all the all the functions that will be passing to the main view controller now let's jump back to the main view controller here that we have here when we are going to defining our cells then we have to add the delegate here but before that let me register our current cell not the default cell that we use here so the registration gonna be using a new file if you remember we create the register inside our cell to simply use it so button cell or our cell does register and also we, we created the, the identifier too so button cell dot identifier it will be passing the identifier to itself as well we can use the same thing here as the identifier to button cell dot identifier see you are not going to mess around with that string and type that string again but uh, because we have to cast our cell to uh, our class we need to put some guard statement here and we have to cast it as the optional to our button cell 
else it means that it's not we have to uh, somehow uh, put a guard around it so simply we can just retain the the own ui table view so this is just as empty cell now we have our cell and for the data that we are going to pass as the index cell dot index is going to be index path dot row we define the, our index for each cell the index actually coming from the variable that we define here remember that so one more thing we need to set the delegation of our search so cell dot delegate this delegate also coming from the delegate that we created here and we defined as the week so cell dot delegate i'm going to equal it to the self it means that all the delegation functions from that protocol that we created should be returning back to this view controller this self uh, assigning to the view controller the main class that we are using now one more thing that we have to put it here cell dot selection style is going to be none so now we have to create our extension what will be this extension from our view controller we have to extend and conform this view controller to this delegation pattern here you see that this is a studio link at me that you are not conforming to that protocol or delegation that you said to me it should be handled by the view controller so button cell table view delegate that we have and it's going to be uh, remove the warning related to that one because we already now have this uh, extension but it is saying that you don't conform to that protocol we click on the fix as you can see it will be returning back these two functions for me one of them related to the button a click and one of those related to the button b click forgot to the naming here but doesn't matter so uh now we have two button here inside our cell let's build and see if we have all the cell or not but before that i'm willing to define the height for each row height for row add and i'm going to just return for example something like uh, 180 so let me build the app bring up yep here we go we have a lot of buttons here uh, and each of them has two button inside it and when we click it should be something happen let me see how we can actually handle the the clicked print for example a and then we have some sort of the data here data then print b and also we have that data that coming from that uh why we have the date here okay let me back here oh i did some mistake here it should be data and also we have to change it here it is data and while i'm here i'm going to refactor it refactor rename and that button be clicked should be that capital c here just in case of the key encoding okay now let me rebuild the app and if i click one of those buttons let me see oh we have a0 we have b0 okay how about this one uh one two three four the fourth sub okay a3 B3. so the click actually is working and passing the data to the view controller now if you want to make it so fancy we can actually create two view controllers and just uh, passing the data to that now that we have uh, the data inside our console it is showing that we, by clicking on each button we have some sort of the data 
so it means that we now can actually go into uh, and create two view controllers uh, to pass the data to uh, each one this is just to be presenting you whatever uh, data coming from the cell by clicking on each button what you can do with that uh, it's just a sample but you can expand it in your own uh, workflow based on your application the source code will be uh, inside the description so uh, you can actually check all the things here so now i just create two view controllers here a and b for ourselves and create the uh, file names here as well and put some codes here index connecting the text label inside each view controller and also configuring the view based on the variable that passing to that view controller you can find the source code in the details uh, coming back to the main view controller for navigating to this view controller we need to embed a, a view con a navigation controller here so we are going to the uh, editor here then we are going to the embed in navigation controller while we actually having the view controller selected now that we have our navigation controller and also we have uh, our two view controllers that we define the storyboard id here as well we can come back to our view controller and inside the button a click and button b click we can initialize our controller based on the storyboard a v controller and bv controller and then we passing the data as the index that coming from the delegation of that cell to that controller and then with the help of the navigation controller we are going to push view controller and then presenting that a or b view controller based on our choice let me build the app and building up the simulator again okay we are on the cell zero it means the index path zero we are going to click on the a now we have the a zero come back b zero and if we going for example 0 1 2 we click on the a we have the a2 then we have the b2 so with the help of these mechanism this protocol and delegate from each cell you can pass all the data to the main view controller and then use it in your application to changing some data or navigating the user to the next view controller hope it will be useful in your next project Please subscribe and like this video to see more content like that to help you during the learning iOS journey. Be successful. See you on the next time.